Hey everyone, Andrew Politis here from Expert Investor Academy. Uh, and I've got this question over the weekend and uh, it was that uh, an investor I work with, a lot of his friends are actually listing their house for sale. They're selling it because the market's super hot right now and they figure, well, the market's eventually gonna crash. Um, and the conversation that I had with him, is, and he was asking me, is this a good idea? Um, and I thought, well, I mean, if, you, if it works out perfectly, it could be. Um, I really don't know. I mean, we've never had a time like this in the history of the planet. Uh, so it's definitely a unique time. But here's one of my concerns is that what this COVID uh, pandemic has taught, at least me, is that people will buy as long as they can buy. As long as the banks are lending, uh, no matter what's going on around them in the world, uh, or scary things are happening on the news, they will buy if they can buy. So will the market dip? Uh, will it crash? I don't know. Will it dip? I do still feel it will dip. Uh, a lot of podcasts uh, and a lot of experts in the field are thinking that it's going to dip uh, Q1, Q2 of next year. Now the question is that if it dips, what caused it to dip? There's obviously no buyers, right? If prices go down on something, then there aren't any buyers. And if there aren't any buyers, why are there no buyers? Again, thinking of COVID, we've learned that if people can buy, they will buy. So if there's no buyers and the market crashes, likely they cannot buy. So maybe everyone's laid off, maybe the banks are more strict, uh, no one's working, uh, debt service ratio, loan to value ratios, qualification rules have changed. And that's something important to think about because what happens if you do time it perfect? What happens if you sell your primary residence, rent for a little while and say, okay, I'm gonna time this, and you do. You, you time it perfect better than you could have even imagined. And come February, you say, okay, now it's time to buy. And you go and you buy your same house back for $100,000 less. But what if the bank's not lending? Do you have the cash to buy that house back in cash? Um, or put 50% down, 35% down, we don't know. So something to keep in mind, I get it, I get where everyone's at, everyone wants to try and make the quick buck um, and time the market, but it's again, time in the market, not timing the market. So. Be cautious, be a smart investor, whether the market goes up, whether the market goes down, if you're investing for cash flow, it really doesn't matter. All right, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.